beginner, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu course. You're already halfway done, halfway there to learning all the beginner, or all, some of the beginner stuff. I just think there's a million beginner things. Um, my name's Luke, I'm the head instructor up here at Nutri Ground North. This is Ryan, uh, one of our students. Today we're going to go over a, a side control escape uh, and bust that out. And yeah, so let's get started with that right away. I'm trying to go quick on a lot of these. Remember, you can always rewind the tapes and watch them again um, if you didn't catch all the details. So I'm in side control which is a, a pretty bad position for me. I'm on the bottom, Ryan passed through all my legs, he's controlling my body, I have to worry about submissions, I have to worry about a lot of things. Um, so my main concern, like I said, I'm underwater, I'm drowning, my main concern is get out of that water, get on my feet, or get on my knees, and, and somehow get on top. Okay, so a few little details to side control. My inside hand, I need to take the blade of my forearm, okay, right in the middle, and I need to put that right on his hip bone. Okay, he, I can feel his hip bone when I do this. The reason being, if it's too deep in here, I have no control over his hips. He can walk around the north south. He can he can start attacking me however he wants. On the flip side, if my arm's too high and it's out here, now I, now I have to worry about certain submissions that he can he can pop up. Got to catch my arm and, and submission. So I need to keep the blade of my forearm right on his hips so that not only do I protect my arm, but also so that I can block his hips off. Okay. Next thing, my feet are close to my butt. Okay. I always want to have my feet close to my butt, and I always want to be kind of bridging. Because anytime I bridge, that keeps Ryan uh, thinking about defense and thinking about control and not thinking about submissions. So if my arm, for whatever reason, starts getting uh, close to attack, I start bridging, I try and get that arm back in. I always talk about T-Rex arms, so sit back. I always talk about T-Rex arms. This is where I want my arms. I want to look like a little T-Rex character. If my arms are out here, that's where submissions and bad things happen. So always T-Rex arms. So I'm keeping my arms in. And now the goal for me is I want to get an underhook here. That's your, that's your golden ticket for out of this position is this underhook. So sometimes, and most of the time, it won't be this easy to get an underhook. I'm probably going to have to bridge and create some space. The other thing that makes it really hard to get out of this position is if I stay flat on my back like I am now. So what I need to do is I need to turn towards Ryan and hip out a little bit. Just like the warm-ups that we talked about, I need to bridge up and hip out. And now that I'm on my side, so let's turn just a little bit. Now that I'm on my side, it makes it much easier for me to get this underhook. Okay, so I got the underhook, I'm on my side, my blade of my forearm's on his hips. Now, I'm gonna hip out one more time, just like we did in the warm-ups. This foot plants, I move my hips away from Ryan to create some space. And notice how I duck my head in. Okay, if he's hooking my head, I'm supposed to turn. If he's hooking my head, I'm not going to be able to get in. So when I bridge, I need to tuck that head in. Okay, from here, I take this leg. Joey, you might want to scooch over to this a little bit. So I take this leg, I do what we call threading the needle. This leg threads under the planted leg. Okay, so it was here, threads under, and I go all the way to my belly. Ideally, I want to end up in line with Ryan. Okay, I don't want to end up on the side like this. This is kind of awkward for me to get out of. I want to stay like this. Okay, I got my hands up. If my hands go down, Ryan can get around me. I start setting up submissions, right? Take my back. So I got to keep my arms up. Right? I got to keep my arms up. One knee at a time. One knee here. One knee here. Okay, once I'm here, once I'm here, there's a, there's a whole ton of different things I can do from there. Um, and, and like the sit-outs and all that, uh, it. But, um, but there's also, so I'm not going to go over that, that's the next step. But at least I'm off my back, I, I'm on my knees, and I'm in a good position. So one more time. You just, just go back, alright? Good. Good job. One more time, I'm in side control, I got the blade of my forearm on his hip. Okay, feet close to my butt. I got my T-Rex arms. And I'm always trying to get an underhook. I never want to put my arm here. I never want to put my arm here. There's things he can do from there. I always want to get an underhook. If I can't get the underhook, I keep it just tucked in under, under his chin and try and work to get that underhook. Okay? I never want to be flat on my back. So when I bridge, I get to my side and I start getting that underhook under. Okay? I'm gonna, once I get here, I got the underhook. I can't hang on here too long. I need to bridge again, hip out. Plant my foot, thread the needle, and go to my belly. Okay, from here, keep my arms out at the side so I keep right in front of me, one knee at a time, and get to turtle. 
Okay? And again, from there, there's a, there's a whole ton of different things you can do. So, one more time, kind of full speed. So I'm in here. I bridge up, hit my underhook, hip out. Belly get to my knees. So that is the escape from side control. That's your uh, first lesson for week three. We're going to do one more. Uh, next week, we're going to, or next class, we're going to work on triangle choke. It's a real popular one you see in MMA fights all the time, you see in Jiu Jitsu all the time. So that'll be a real exciting one, so make sure you check back for that.